Hello, welcome. My name is Professor Lunchbox and today I wanted to offer you all a free service. I'm going to teach you the difference between the theirs. You see, if you're not familiar with me, I run a Facebook page called Lil Lunchbox where I document my Clive and you know how I live the Clive style, the clown lifestyle. But that's besides the point in regards to this video today. On my page, people are able to leave comments and a lot of people don't really seem to understand the difference between the three theirs. There is their, T-H-E-R-E, -E, which you would use for what I just said right there when I said there are, that is the there you use for that. There is my dog. There is my aunt grandmother, Mildred. Why would she be your aunt and your grandmother? I don't know. I don't know your Clive. Uh, the next one is T-H-E-I-R, which is possessive, such as, there is my pet dog, Rudolph. There is that cupcake I was going to eat, but now it's been stuffed down your gullet, you fat skank. The next one is T-H-E-Y, apostrophe, R-E. That one is a contraction for they are. For example, they're my best friends. They're going to jail for stealing from the criminal justice system. How would one steal from the criminal justice system? Well, I suppose you could go to the evidence lockup room and steal a murder weapon or a packet of cocaine or something. I don't know, I'm not a criminal, but the point is, is that those are the three theirs and how they are used. From now on, I expect that all of you will use them correctly because I gave you this free lesson. I used my time and my clenergy to give you a free lesson on the three theirs. So the next time I see someone use their incorrectly, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going, RuPaul, you need to relax. I am going to send you a gift in the mail. It might be a glitter bomb. It might be a box of shit. I don't know what it will be, but it will be something disgusting that will make you think twice before incorrectly using the wrong there in my presence. It's tiresome, it's stupid, it's annoying, it doesn't make sense. We learned this in grammar school. I understand some people have learning disabilities, some people are dyslexic, I get it, I feel for you, that sucks ass. I had a hard time focusing in school myself because I likely have ADD, that's besides the point. The point is, is that there are three theirs and they all have a purpose. So I expect you to use them accordingly. Now RuPaul here doesn't know me from a snake, a tree, a frog, a wall. He doesn't know what I am. But I think even he, if I taught him, would know and remember the theirs. Now, he's tightening around my neck right now because he feels that I'm getting tense and he's trying to calm me down. I could appreciate it, Rue, I really do. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just tired of people who don't utilize the schooling that they received in grammar school. You got a free education in the United States of America or Great Britain, wherever you're from. Use it. T-H-E-R-E, -E, there is a snake on my neck. T-H-E-I-R, there, dog, Ruby, is humping my leg. T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, they're going to prison for beating someone within an inch of their life for using the incorrect there. Don't forget it, because I'm not clucking around with you clitches. Cluck up again, and I will either send you something disgusting in the mail, ban you, and let you come back after you've learned the proper way to speak English, or I'm going to ridicule you and tell you that you're stupid. The irony is that people always do it when they're trying to tell someone that they're dumb. It's always like, Oh, there is that stupid dumb clown again, but they use T-H-E-I-R, like, 
that, like who? Who owns something in this sentence? It doesn't make any sense! My sister is getting um, fed up with me because our walls are quite thin and she can hear me screaming. But what do you want a lesson too? Do you need a lesson on the theirs? Because I'm giving them out for free. Do you need one? You're about to go to college. I hope you know the difference. She does because my mother did not raise clidiots. Anyway, that's all for today. Uh, today's lesson. <laughs> I hope you learned something, I hope you stop being an idiot on the internet, and I hope you have a class day. Don't let the claters get you down, and again, this, you know, if you have a learning disability or something like that, fine, you're exempt, I guess, I don't know, I know people who have learning disabilities and they don't get this wrong, so I don't really think that's an excuse to be quite honest, it's just laziness and stupidity. Cheerio!